Hey, uh, spring break. Mm -hmm. A lot of kids are like, yay! A lot of parents are like, hey, what do we do? Yeah, especially this time of year when winter apparently is creeping into April. Well, you don't have those summer activities, but you do have the zoo. You always have the zoo. Hannah Welker there this morning to see some new additions and show what the zoo has planned for the week ahead. Good morning, Hannah. <laughs> hey, guys, check it out. No sudden movements, but we see an animal. Larry. <laughs> Pamela, I'm here with Larry Sorrell and Pamela Reed Sanchez. Uh, thanks so much for coming out so early. We really appreciate this. Oh, no problem at all. But we see animals. Tell us what's behind us right now. Those are Canadian lynx, and it's early in the morning, so Ryan's here um, doing a little bit of enrichment, a little bit of training. <laughs> yeah, now, what do you feed the lynx? Because he is, you know, throwing a few maybe toys in, but also uh, some food. We feed them a commercially prepared um, carnivore diet. It's a mix of several different meats and vitamins, etc. And he rolls them up in a little bit of ball, and that's what um, allows us to do some training. Oh my gosh, they probably love it. Now, spring break next week. Um, uh, I'd like to let you all know, though, that it's snowing right now, so it feels maybe more like winter break. Um, but you guys are going to have so many activities and sort of events with the animals for families next week. Can you talk a little bit about that, Pamela? Sure. Um, we have spring break programming happening uh, all next week, starting tomorrow, going through Easter Sunday. There are three demonstrations or enrichments each day, and they vary every day. So you can get the, the full schedule at SenecaParkZoo.org. Um, but you'll see sea lion demonstrations, the North American River otters, uh, our penguins, our orangutans, lions, you name it. So it's a great week of programming. And it starts tomorrow, actually, with a special program called Critter Challenge, which is one of our conservation education days. And there'll be stations throughout the zoo where people can come and learn how our animals in the wild respond to, the, to being in the, in the wild and the, the challenges that the cold weather give them. So it should be a great day tomorrow and all through the week. Yeah, and talking about the cold weather, you know, Larry, you said that a lot of these animals actually don't mind it at all. A absolutely not. They adapt very, very well. It's, it's amazing. We've even had the orangutans outside. Elephants go outside virtually every day. Um, we, the, the baboons that are down there are outside. So it's great for those that people don't expect to be outside in the cold. And certainly for like the lynx and the polar bear and the tigers, this is just perfect weather. The zoo's perfectly clean. Early in the morning, you have to watch out for a little bit of ice because of, of cold overnight. But other than that, we're ready to go. You know, talk about these lynx as as we're here right now. Uh, what do they do on a daily basis? What does Ryan do with them to enrich them? To you know, make them, I guess, uh, have live a happier life and everything like that. <laughs> well, what we what we talk about is it allows them the full behavioral repertoire. It allows them to hunt a little bit, to interact with each other. The best enrichment is the interaction between the two animals. But what we do is, is we put in toys. We hide food so they have to search for it. Um, we put in a number of things where they can manipulate in a way they would if they were hunting a rabbit or something like that. The importance is that they are allowed to manipulate, manage, and control their environment. They're, we don't want them to feel like they're captive. That's not what they are. We're holding them in our care. We're, we're supporting them, veterinary care, et cetera but we want them to be able to manage and control their own environment as much as possible. And they look extremely happy, and you have two right now, correct? We have two, a male and a female, and, you know, who knows what the future will hold. <laughs> yeah, because we've heard that there's been a baby boom amongst the penguins. That's what we've heard. We've had a baby boom amongst the penguins, and you'll see them a little bit later. We are always looking for baby booms here and are always hopeful that when we introduced uh, Bianca, who was just introduced last fall, um, we, are, we are always hopeful, but you never know. She would be a very young mother, uh, so there's always risk. Good stuff. Well, we're going to toss it back to you guys in a bit. The links are out. They're yeah. active this morning. Look at them. Yeah. I'm I'm not going to go too close. I Ryan's not even going too close. <laughs> Ryan's behind the gate if you if you see that. I got all so. excited when you said Canadian Lynx. I thought we were doing a golf thing. But now <laughs> I figured I was just... <laughs>